Hi friends, I am Satish Rawal and today I am going to teach you 10 expressions we use almost every day. Okay, let me start with the first one. The first one is, I can't figure out how to. We use this expression when we don't know to do something and we don't know the technique how to do that thing and in that situation we use this language. I can't figure out how to do this work. I can't figure out how to solve this problem. I can't figure out how he managed to do all these things. So I can't figure out, we use this expression to say that we don't know that particular thing. The next expression is I'm positive. I'm positive, right. Actually when you say I'm positive, you want to say I'm 100% sure. When you are 100% sure, you can say I'm positive, right. Suppose at home you are talking that I have seen a mouse there, right? And your mama says, mouse? Really? And you say, I'm positive. When you say I'm positive, you mean to say you are 100% sure. The next expression is, there's been a delay. There's been a delay. Actually what happens, you place an order to get something from market or online shopping or whatever, right? Okay. So when there's a time, a specific time, when you do not receive your thing, and you say that the, there's been a delay. There's been a delay simply means to get late, to get that thing. So there's been a delay, an expression that we use almost every day, right? Number four is on me. What is this on me? You know, imagine a situation or remember a situation, not imagine, remember a situation when your friend and you went to a restaurant to eat something or drink something right when the bill arrives and somebody wants to pay and you say it's on me that means whenever you express the language on me you want to say i'm going to pay for this that means you are paying for someone's food or drink then you can say it's on me number five comes in what is this comes in actually you remember again situation when you buy something actually suppose you are buying bulbs or you are buying some TV or something that comes in different shapes and sizes it comes in color also right okay suppose there is a t-shirt that you like so much in shop and you say uh, can you show me then sir sir he will that shopkeeper or salesman will say sir this comes in green red and blue or when you are talking about sizes and you will say this comes in short, medium and big or large, right? Mostly they are using large and extra large and such language. So they are talking in shapes and sizes. They are talking in terms of capacity. Suppose you are buying a washing machine and that shopkeeper again or salesman says, sir, this comes in 6.5 kg or this comes in 5.5 kg, this comes in 7.7 .7 kg. Actually, when they are taking the, talking this kind of language, saying this kind of sentence, they mean to say it has a various availability. It is available in different shapes and sizes and capacities. Right? Number six is for here or to go. This language you will you will hear at a restaurant or a food chain. Right? Suppose you are at McDonald's and there you go. Right? So sometimes what happens? People take away the food. That's the parceling system. They are taking away the food for whom? Right? And Sometimes you eat there. So here, the person who is serving you will ask you for here or to go. For here or to go. When if they want to say for here or to go, they are actually they are asking, will you eat here or will you take it away? So because as per that situation, they will plan it. Number seven is chip in. C H I P chip in. This simply means continuous money. Suppose your family is planning to buy a car, okay, and your father, your brother, and sister, okay, they are all giving money to buy that car, right? Suppose it's costing you 10 lakh rupees. Uh, in India, actually, currency we say rupees, but maybe some of the viewers uh, know dollars and all other pounds and everything, right? Okay, but Indian currency is rupees, so that's why I'm talking a rupee here. So suppose the car is costing 10 lakh rupees and the father, brother, mother all are giving money to buy that car. So
So you can say the land was they chipped in five lakh rupees, they chipped in three lakh rupees, or they chipped in to buy this car. So they are chipping in to buy this car. The same language, chipping language, you can say when you going on a trip, right? Suppose four people are going on a trip, and that's going to cost one thousand dollars, right? And if there are four people, two hundred fifty each friend will pay. So that is chipping in again. Chip in simply means consume with money. Number eight is: Are we still on for today? When to use this expression? Are we still on for today? Are we still on for today? This simply means that you have made an appointment with somebody that okay, let's meet together at such and such time and such and such place, right? But nowadays life is totally disturbed and people are not decided what to do and sometimes certain things happen and accidentally this happen and you may have to change your program. So before a person is making a call right and he is asking you are we still on today on for today actually when they are expressing this language he just want to know that where you are still decided plan or there is a change in that okay so just for the confirmation we are using this language are we still on for today number 9 is what something is made of here something means anything we use maybe a bag leather bag wallet belt dresses anything is made of some material so here the question is what something made of right suppose somebody see a beautiful purse right one lady is asking another lady right hey what's your purse made of what your purse is made of right then the person will say this made of leather right so something when you say made of you are talking about the material that is used in that thing last one is 10 number that's it that's it okay actually that's it is so much common expression nowadays and we use this expression just to tell people that we don't want to say anything more about that nothing more this that's it simply means nothing more right so people are talking to each other and they are saying okay uh, we'll go to the cinema and then we'll eat out and then we will buy this thing that's it so when after three things they say that's it that is the final thing that means nothing more that's it simply means nothing more that's it for the lesson today thank for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and my friends don't forget to press the bell icon if you have already subscribed to my channel thank you